Hey, welcome. This is the Barton Musical Circuits User Writable Quantizer, or UWQ, uh, is what we're going to be looking at today. Uh, this is the prototype that I just finished last week, uh, and I'm going to run you through some of the features. Um, unlike other quantizers, there's no uh, preset pattern of notes in this that it comes loaded with. You have to write them in yourself, uh, and right now... I'm just gonna erase all so I can show you uh, just exactly what that takes. Uh, I'm gonna turn up the volume here. And right now, with this switch, you can turn quantizing on or off. We're in off position. So we just have infinitely variable uh, notes there. And so I'm just gonna write a few notes in. And whenever you write a note, the green light turns on. Uh, the red light is indicating that we're at the voltage that we're trying to get to, which I'll, that'll make a little more sense later. But I'm just randomly putting a few notes in, not measuring the tune or anything like that right now, just for demonstrative purposes. Okay, and now I'm going to turn the quantizing on. So there you can see we're quantizing, uh, it's quantizing to the nearest note right now. With this switch you can set it so it always quantizes to the note above your input voltage or the one below your input voltage. Here's above, and here's below. Uh, okay, and then the next thing I wanted to show you was the softness control which basically acts like a low-pass filter, but it's implemented digitally, so you get a little bit of a lag between notes. And you can really hear it on those big jumps. And then the next thing I want to show you is the trigger control, uh, which that triggers a new note uh, getting read by the input of the quantizer. Uh, so it's kind of like the sample control on a sample hold. And it's especially useful when you've got the uh, softness on. Let me slow that down a little bit. Because then you're uh, re-triggering a new note and it's re-quantizing it back to the old note. So you hear a little bit of the note you started with before it goes to the other one. Or before it goes to the goal voltage. So now you can see that the red light is turning off and on. But there we go, that's back out of the circuit. and then. This, this right here is a uh, quantize on and off. So you can switch between your input voltage and the quantized voltage. Um, let's see what else is there to show. Uh, so for the softness control, you can input a secondary voltage to the soft in control, and then that gets attenuated with this knob. Uh, external in uh, adds an auxiliary input for, to the input voltage, which that gets attenuated with this knob. Um, let's see what else. Okay, uh, the bank control here selects which bank you save or load to. Uh, these are the save and load controls, these buttons, and I don't remember what's in here right now. That looks like just everything is on there. Uh, and then finally, uh, this switch over here uh, switches between a bipolar or a unipolar input. Uh, that way, if you're trying to 
process a low frequency oscillator or something else where you're going to have negative voltage, uh, the negative voltage will be able to enter the microcontroller without screwing everything up. So it's just adding an offset on the input and on the output of the signal. Um, and that's the basics of how this thing works. Uh, and this, I guess this wasn't a really sexy patch or anything, but uh, hopefully that gives you a good idea of what this thing actually does. So thanks a lot.